Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures. Today we are checking out Shindig, which is a really nice hand-drawn point-and-click adventure game that's just, to be honest, a nice, good feels, wholesome game from what I've read and seen of it. Um, and I can't wait to play it. It just looks like a really nice, relaxing adventure. Like I said, with some beautiful hand-drawn artwork. I can't wait to, to give this a play, to be honest. Uh, so we've got auto save, which is nice. Don't turn off the device. We'll try not to do that. Um, here we go. Oh, we can create our own character. Nice. Um, should we make it look like... Like me? I mean, shall we? And can you help me with the Well, party? that's all for now. Thanks. Cool. Okay, so we can put different voices on as well. Help me with the party. I'm pleased to meet you. Nice, okay. Can we get a beard? Let's get like beard and a long hair. Why not? <laughs> like, this isn't what I look like, by the way. <laughs> um, let's get like a really big bushy beard. That kind of looks like when you've eaten loads of like Watsits or something. <laughs> I quite like that, it's cool. Um, okay, extras. Can we go for glasses as well? We can. Nice. Um, wow. Let's let's go for like some bluey green hair. <laughs> Why not? All right, we're ready. Once you proceed, style settings cannot be changed. You're absolutely happy. I, I think this is pretty cool. Um, I would like we can change the hairstyle as well. Should we do that? Should we change the hairstyle? I don't know. Shall we? No, let's leave it. I quite like it. All right, we'll go. We'll go like this. Wanted. Help arranging a fine shindig. Responsibilities. Fetching all the good stuff a party needs. Helping the locals out. Applicants must be kind with an open heart. Strong lunch game and fantagious. Perks. Payment. An unforgettable party. Beach Hut, it's yours. Nice. Interested? Apply via email forthwith to baxterbbaxtenberg at hogmail.com. All right. Oh, cool. From Baxter B. Baxenberg at hogmail.com. To me. Subject. Arrangements. We're all set. Board the friendship in the morning, and he'll bring you safely to the island. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Toodles. B. Baxter Baxtenberg. Sent from my mice phone. <laughs> mice phone, nice. All right, so we've got to set up a party then, it sounds like. Sounds pretty cool so far. Oh, here we go. We're on a boat. Nice. I I've got to say, I love this hand-drawn art style. Off to the island, eh, boss? Yep. When we get there, be a total monarch can help with the rope, yeah? <laughs> Alright. A ship like me can bear you anywhere, boss. We'll be there in a jiffy. Can we... Oh, okay. I'll oh, check this place out. Shindig. It just looks really cool. It just looks like a really nice, chilled out, good vibes game, and I'm, I'm all, all about boss. that. First off, go in the hatch and get the rope out. Okay, we'll do we'll do that. Yeah, sometimes you just need a nice, yeah, relaxing game. Uh, interact, yeah. Give the hatch a bit of an interact. We can do that. Nice one, boss. Grab the rope and into your inventory it goes. All right, sounds simple enough. Standard point and click stuff. Nice. So we've got our rope. Drag the rope down to this little loop here and I'll do the rest. Ah, okay. I like the little owl. Say, if you move your pointer to the top of the screen, your inventory appears as if by magic. Adventure game magic. Oh, there it is. Nice, right. So we'll drag it onto here. Is that what we want to do? We're oh no, we want to drag it onto here. Of course, <laughs> how are we going to tie it onto there from up here? <laughs> right, that's better. Whoa, pretty cool. This, this nice is a useful boss. ship. Laters. Laters indeed, right. Is the owl coming with us or is he just going to chill up there? I think he's just going to chill up there. The boat's really cool though. I, li I like this. Oh, it's whistling. All right, boss. All right, let's head off onto the island then. Who said that? 
Is it, is it someone up here? Was it the tree? <laughs> I don't know who said that. Oh, okay, it's further along, I think. Hey! <gasps> Who's this? So glad you could make it. So am I. Baxter. I sent out the missive asking for party planning help. Ah. That came true. Ah, this is Baxter, okay. I'm super stoked to meet you. Uh, I'm happy to Oh, we can Interesting. So so rather than sort of like the classic point and click interface where you, you have sort of choices and you click on which one, you circle through them. Cycle through them, I should say. Uh pleased to meet you too. I'm happy to be here. Uh pleased to meet you too. Pleased to meet you too. There's a lot to do, so I'll get straight to business. Everyone's a bit down in the snout, but a party always brings us together. <laughs> down in the snout. <laughs> party prep is usually my thing, but I can't do it this time. That's where you come We're in. ready. We're ready to plan the best party ever. I need you to bring me a few things that spell a fine sheet. Okay, we can do that. If it's all right. I'd like to deliver the deets via the gift of some. That would be amazing. Uh, sing it, Piggy. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Here we All go. Right. I want to hear Crabby it. Crew, would you oblige? Wait, what? Crabs? Wow! Here we go, the crabs. Gonna have ourselves a shindig Putting on my thing and shoes Decorate it up real <laughs> I love it. Have a little cake too. Gonna have refreshing drinks tonight. Everybody is a feeling so fine. Gonna have ourselves a shindig, shindig. Everybody at the shindig. I mean, it's already the best shindig because we've got. Did you get all that? Um, I'll, I'll be honest. No, <laughs> I was enjoying the song so much I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh. Oh good. Okay, that's that's fine then. It's, so decorations, music, drinks, and cake. I mean, I don't think we need the music. You could just provide the music, right? Uh, got it. Can I hear it again? No, I think we got it for now. Got it. All right. Great. So. Good job, lads. All done. Decoration, music, drinks, and cake. We we should we should be. Oh. I just know that everything's gonna turn out piggity boo. <laughs> piggity boo. Uh, where do I start? What do I do? Where do I start? Where do I start? Everyone's looking forward to meeting you, so go get to know your lovely new neighbours. That sounds like a plan. I'm sure everyone will help out however they can. They're good sorts. Yeah, everyone seems friendly so far. <laughs> Here, take this map of the island. I'm not sure if that laughter was suggesting else otherwise. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, we've got a map anyway. Oh, cool. As you explore, places will automatically fill in, so you can go there real quick. Nifty. Sounds pretty good to me. Ooh. Oh, so we've explored this area. Nice. So we. This hut is your home base. Make sure you check back often. You never know what might happen. Now I'm intrigued. Anywho, I'll let you settle in. Toodles. Thank you, Baxter. It's very kind of you. <laughs> See you later. The, the the little laughter every now and again. I'm not sure if that's that's highly suspicious or not. To be honest. All right. Well, here we go. Let's um. Should we go and check out our base of operations then? But you can see what I mean. It's just a very sort of chilled out, calming game. It's just a wholesome experience. And we all need that every now and again, I think, you know. Especially after a stressful day. Something like this is ideal. Just something to completely unwind. Uh, there's a lemon here. <laughs> Why is there a lemon? I don't know, but maybe we can use it for something. Perhaps we can make lemonade. Can we go to sleep? I don't think we can. Nice flowers and stuff here. Ooh. Oh, did that turn? Did that turn off the music? Friendo Island Radio. <laughs> There's a radio station. That's pretty amazing. All right, we might come back and listen to that in a bit. I want to see if we can uh, get to exploring this place with our new newfound map. So yeah, we've. We've got to go up, really. Up from sort of just to the right of the hut, I suppose. So, let's head down this way. The singing crabs are, are down here. Hello, singing crabs. Uh, maybe we go right a screen and then up? Is, is that possible? Oh, wow, okay. 
Yes, we're here. Okay, so there's some sort of little town here. Check this guy out. It's Plant Dude. Potential friend. <laughs> my name is Milo, the Venus Hug Trap. Venus Hug Trap. Please heed my warning. Okay. Please only step onto my mat if you consent to a cuddle. It's kind of a reflex. Okay. Do you need a hug right now? Yeah, yeah, let's 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 go for a hug. Um yeah, I do. I do. Ah, <laughs> that's great. I love it. Wonderful. The warm hug energy will sustain me for quite some time. It's just so light-hearted and Please fun. Any time for tasty interactions. You've made me so happy. It's just happy and friendly. I love it. Uh, the item shop is closed, but it looks as though the bookshop may be open. Maybe we can get some things for the party around here. <gasps> It's a crocodile. Wow, let's look at these books. Mm, book smell. Yeah, I love that book, new book smell. When you get a new book just before you read it and you like take that little smell of the book. Hopefully I'm not the only one who does that. But there's just that, that lovely smell that books have, isn't there? What's this? A rock with a face painted on and googly eyes. Is it alive? That's Pet Rock. Pet Rock? Okay. Salutations, friend. Do you have a book wish? Um, I, I... Not right now, but who might you be? Sorry, I got nervous and forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> so softly spoken. I'm Cornelius the Bookadile. Bookadile. Diligent curator of this small but powerful library. I may look for him, but please don't judge this Bookadile by his cover. No, we wouldn't do that. And you are the lovely assistant in party prep whose coming was foretold by Baxter. In a group. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you. Can you help me with the shindig? Social occasions aren't my strong point. I find them quite stressful. But I'll attend. Yeah, I know, I know that I know that feeling. I know that feeling well. That shall fill my sociable quota for some time. Yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, you did. Is everything all right? You did. Is everything all right? Thank you for your kind concern. Pet Rock wants to turn the page on new adventures to tumble with a band. <laughs> but without Pet Rock to talk to, how will I wind down for bed? Ooh. I used to meditate by the light of the silvery moon. But outside at night is no place for a Cornelius, no thank you. I do so miss those moonlit meditations, though. Yeah, so maybe I'll there's a way... For you. See you soon. Yeah, maybe there's a way we can find something. And... Take care, yeah, take care. Yeah, so maybe we can find something that will help. I like the little um, closed captions as well to describe sort of what's going on with the music. It's pretty cool. Ooh, there's a lighthouse this way. Right, what's this place? There's a little lobster in there. Ooh, what's all this? Medicine? Herbs? Tinctures, herbs, and medicines. Who knows what all these do? I do! <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, what do they do? Welcome to the Otis Larry Apothecary. I'm Agatha, and I'm happy to help you today. Have you need of medicine? Um, I don't think we do. Medicine? I don't think so. That's a case where I'm happy not to help you then. <laughs> <laughs> Good health is the most precious thing we have. Is there anything else I can do for you? I don't think so, actually. I understand you're arranging the party, yes? We are indeed. Uh, Otis Lurry, can you help me with the party? Can you help me with the party? I can only help with medical supplies. And ideally, parties don't require those. Well, yeah, ideally. <laughs> I'm racking my brain, but I'm a little sidetracked right now with an utterly huge problem of my own. <gasps> what could it be? Uh, problem? Maybe I can help. Problem? Maybe I can help. When my wife and I moved to the island, I lost my favourite juggling rock. <gasps> 
I've tried rocks from all over, but none have personality like my old jungle. Could the rock from the other place be the rock? I'm experimenting with keeping a hanky in the furnace where I kept my rock, but it's not the same. I can imagine. The joy of juggling is like nothing else. Let me know if you find a good, unique rock in your travels, won't you? Well, we did find I a sure rock. Will. So maybe we'll have to um, figure out uh, Otter Slurry? Otter Slurry? Effective remedies for whatever ails you. Made by medical mixologists Agatha and Dorothy. Don't ask what's in it. <laughs> uh, what's in it? What's in it? Don't ask what's in it. <laughs> well, that's all for now. Thanks. So I wonder if we... Um... But hopefully not because you have need of medicine. Yeah, just for a chat. Hopefully, uh, it seems like we're going to have to then find something to allow the moonlight meditation to be able to take the rock to bring the rock here. So, you know, that sounds like a bit of a plan, doesn't it? I'm so relaxed playing this. This game has really relaxed me out. It's pro my commentary's probably gone a bit sort of chilled and mellow. It's, it's just really relaxing playing this. <gasps> Something's going on here. I saw an oh dear pop up. Hello. Good day to you, good matey. It is I, Phineas, organ grinder extraordinaire. Known for my unique techno melodical rhythm imaginations the world over. <laughs> A feast for the ears on any other day. For were it working, you'd marvel at my miraculous music machine and bop along to its addictively cheery tune. Oh, it's broken, is it? No. Oh no. A mere oil and clean, and it shall sing once more. Okay. But the world is full of shade and shadow, and oily rags are unforthcoming. Hmm. In the meantime, I shall learn to play this thing I won in a raffle for your entertainment. <laughs> Lovely. It, it would, yes. Hello. I'm trying to arrange a party. Can you help me out? Oh, thank you for not towering over me. I truly appreciate your thoughtful lunge. <laughs> a party? I'd like to go to a party. But I doubt I'd be any help arranging You party. never know. Maybe you could play the music. I'm not from around here. And even when my gizmo is working, it doesn't dole out dance floor cramming. Well, you never know. Oh, I'd best get back to learning this thing. Please excuse me, good matey. Alright, we'll excuse you. Alright then, guys, I feel like that's a good place to end this video then. So, I'm going to leave a link to the Steam page for this down in the description below. If you want to go and check out more, find out what happens next, go ahead, click that link. It will take you through and you can, you can buy the game and things there. Um, this is really cool. It's just really relaxing and wholesome and happy and... All the good things, really, that you want, especially if you've had a bit of a tough day. I can imagine this is just absolutely perfect to sit down and just take your mind off things. It's just such a lovely, wonderful, kind adventure game. And I think everybody needs a bit of that, and especially the genre needs a bit of that as well. It's just something really different to, to all the other adventure games that I've played. So, you know, if, if you want to play it, go ahead and play it. I, it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And... Thank you all for watching. Um, a big thank you as well to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.